everyone! Today you are going to see some deep space missions. One will reach Cash Giant and another a dwarf planet. We are going to start with a Gas Giant at Jupiter. Juno is launching on my Golem rocket. Probe is basic RTG powered scientific craft. Its mission is to fly by the biggest planet in our solar system as well as to visit one of its moons, Europa. After that, it will use Jupiter's enormous gravity well to get a gravity assist out of the solar system. Launch went without any problems, probe is in orbit and is being prepared for transfer burn. Transjoven maneuver is plotted by a MacJap, and then I manually input some small adjustments to get to a reasonable distance to Europa. Gremlin transfer stage accelerates the probe by almost 6.5 km per second to get to the proper trajectory. Probe is then separated and it will continue the journey on its own. We are going to check on the probe in two years when it will enter Jupiter's SOI. In the meantime, the launch window to Ceres has opened, so the upgraded Golem rocket is already waiting on the pad. Unfortunately, one of the engines fails to ignite on the launch pad, and I failed to stop the launch in time, so we can see some beautiful Aerio D. I was a bit cheaty, as I've decided to revert to the launch pad and try again. This time, all three engines ignited successfully and the rocket began its climb through the atmosphere. Everything is going perfectly fine until one of the engines explodes. Unfortunately, at this stage of the flight, the rocket was capable of getting to orbit with remaining engines. We have main engine cut off, and this time the second stage fails to ignite. Unfortunately, I had a twin probe build already. It was originally proposed to get to Vesta, but it was quickly reassigned. This time, the whole launch went perfectly fine. First, as well as the second stage performed nominally, and the payload in the form of the probe Gremlin stage were successfully deployed into parking orbit. Maneuver is set and the only thing left is to ignite the RD-58, which happens as planned. Finally, probe is on the proper course and nothing will stop it from reaching Ceres. Besides me setting the avionics wrong, so the craft is uncontrollable, unable to point the solar panels towards the sun and to make any kind of mid-course correction. It just continues to tumble in the vastness of space. I couldn't give up. I've rushed building another craft, this time with proper avionics. It took just about a month to assemble it, so I was able to launch it in the same transfer window. Now it had to work. First stage, nominal. Miko and second stage ignition, successful. Pairing separation, no problems. Payload deployment. 
Development as Planned. Transfer Stage Burn in Order. Prop Separation and Solar Panels Deployment completed. Mid course correction executed. Finally, everything worked. Fully functional Ceres probe is on its way to asteroid belt. In the meantime, Jovian probe has approached Jupiter SOI. It is using its RCS thrusters to perform a final course correction to Midwave Europa. inside of the system, scientific equipment was gathering huge amount of data from space around that gas giant. The RTG couldn't keep up with the power consumption, so the science transmission had to be periodically halted to recharge batteries. Herbalism automatization feature proved to be quite helpful. Lots of data is being saved on the internal hard drive and it will take some months to transfer all of it to Earth as the data rate is rather low. Approach to Europa shows the beauty of this ice moon. Canyons and plateaus are breathtaking, but relative velocity doesn't allow to enjoy the view for too long. by quickly and the probe is on its way to become the first man-made interstellar object as Jovian gravity throws the craft out of the solar system. Over a year and three months after launch, Cirrus Explorer approaches its destination. It performs a final course correction that adjusts its trajectory, so the craft will fly past the dwarf planet in daylight. From high up, Cirrus doesn't look like much, but from lower altitude, interesting surface features can be noticed. Scientific equipment gathered a bunch of data, but further missions will be needed to explore this body in depth. I was trying to adjust the trajectory so the probe could meet uh, with Ceres once more in future orbit, but limited fuel reserves didn't allow for it, so the mission of Ceres Explorer has officially ended. That is all what I've got for you today. Thank you everyone for watching, please please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and see you again in my next video.